Welcome to SeaTac Recap, bringing you the latest news in the travel world. Star news anchor Chip Chandler. Hello, all. welcome to the first official 2016 episode of SeaTac Recap. I'm your host, Chip Chandler. And I'm Susan Walker. Today we're going to bring you the news in a new, different way. Let's get started. First topic Woman claims her body brews alcohol and has her DUI charge dismissed. So imagine being charged with a DUI when it's been hours since you had a drink, only to later discover that your body brews its own alcohol. That's what happened to an upstate New York woman when she blew a blood alcohol level more than four times the legal limit. Just before Christmas in Hamburg, New York, a judge dismissed the charges after being presented with evidence that the woman suffers from auto brewery syndrome. I had never heard of auto brewery syndrome before this case, attorney Joseph Murrissack told CNN. That prompts me to get on the internet and see if there's any sort of explanation. I'm in touch with about 30 people who believe they have this same syndrome, and about 10 of them are diagnosed with it. They can function at alcohol levels such as 0.30 and 0.40 when the average person would be in comatose or dying. More about this case and syndrome is being studied. Next topic. Zebras escape from circus, leading police on a chase in Philadelphia. Two zebras escaped from a circus in West Philadelphia on Sunday, leading police on a wild chase for miles to the city. The zebras, according to witness accounts, somehow got loose from the Universal Circus outside the Mann Center for the Performing Arts, near 52nd Street and Parkside Avenue in Fairmont Park, and ran out of the front gate. Police radio confirmed about 2 p.m. that zebras were loose in West Philadelphia and officers were trying to catch them. All I saw were two cops chasing the zebra, said Rashawn Smith, a witness. We thought it was a horse. And now a word from our sponsor. You send it home wait for maintenance fee assistance that never comes. Talking about I'll call C-Tech next week, maybe tomorrow. No, do it right now. You're paying maintenance fees every year anyhow. Why not take 15 minutes of your time and talk to someone that's out here trying to help you? Call C-Tech right now. Do something for yourself for a change. The results won't get any money anyway. Why not do something that's going to help you out? Why are you making it complicated? It's easy. All you got to do is call CE Travelers Advantage Club, 757-345-5164. They're out to help you. Get off the couch and make that call right now. Welcome back. Final topic. I landed where? You ever took a flight to a location only to find out that you have another inconvenient distance of travel to get to your final destination? Well, some airports are in not so convenient locations. For example, Tokyo. The quirky high rise capital of Japan, where you land is Tokyo Naruto Airport, and the estimated drive time to the city is 52 minutes. Let's say you want to go to London, one of the world's most exciting cities with its landmarks and celebrated cultural attractions. You will land at London South End Airport and the estimated drive time to the city is 1 hour and 30 minutes. Let's say you want to go to Paris, which is one of the world's most romantic cities. You will land at Paris Vautry Airport, which is a staggering drive time of 2 hours and 9 minutes. Wow. So next time you plan a flight, make sure you arrive somewhere close to your final destination. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thanks for joining us today. This has been SeaTac Recap, a division of CE Trials Advantage Club. We make packing your bags the hardest part. And remember, stay, stay classy, SeaTac family. family. <laughs> <laughs>